Why the submarines are black? Well, it's not because they're from Africa. You can't say that. No, 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 no. Please don't put a racist tag on me. It was just a joke, because... I am the least racist person there is anywhere in the world. So, submarines are black, for a Pacific, oh sorry, I mean specific reason, but before going to that reason, another reason could be that all the threatening things are always black, like this, the submarine, this bomber and this. So, let's travel back to the pre-atomic age, when men was unknown to the uranium-powered freedom, oh sorry, I mean nuclear power, and during that period of time, submarines used to spend most of their time on surface, as compared to underwater, and thus camouflage became an integral part for a submarine. After spending a lot of tax dollars, oh, I was trying to say after a lot of research work, the United States Navy found that gray paint was the best against visual detection, so how turned into black? Okay, look at this. This is a B-2 stealth bomber, dropping GPS-guided J-dams, and you can see it. But now it's the nighttime, and you can't see it now, and bomber to you be like. Can you see me now? You can't see it, because the matte black paint on stealth bomber works against visual detection. In the same way, submarines are black to avoid the visual detection, because light can't penetrate deep into the ocean, and with nuclear propulsion, you can stay underwater for 25 years, but in modern warships, a nuclear-powered submarine can't stay underwater for even 5 minutes. So, in my humble opinion. This, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This but what you don't know is that your entire life is nothing but a lie. Because in your childhood this dude taught you survival tactics on camera, while off camera this is what he was doing all the time. In the same way, submarines are not black at all, and the black thing is basically anechoic tiles. This tile technology originally came from this dude's country, and the coating was first tested during sea trials in 1940, on a U-boat called U-11, and U-67 was the first operation U-boat equipped with these tiles. Anachoic tiles are black in general, and once again they're not from Africa as well. These rubber tiles contain thousands of tiny voids, like your hands contain thousands of germs, and these voids basically absorb the sound waves of active sonar and the sounds emitted from a submarine, for example its engines, to reduce the range at which it can be detected by passive sonar. These tiles work as an optical camouflage, and if you look closely, you'll see the same pattern on fish, for example tuna, as you can see here. But again your life is still a lie because bottom of a submarine is not black, it's orange, or you can say orange is the new black. But wait there, your whole life is still a lie at least for one last time, because not all naval submarines are black. Submarines that mostly operate in shallow waters are painted green. North Korea's Romeo-class submarines are painted sea green, the same color the Statue of Freedom has, and these are the Dolphin-class submarines of the Israeli Navy, while Iran also a member of this group. In the end, what I think the best color to paint a submarine is nothing but this. And now you better like this video, because if you don't, USS all you need to know, equipped with stealth tiles, will fire tomahawks on you. Why mushroom cloud? When did I say the tomahawk was armed with conventional warhead?